Only in the game just to get my fatty. And need lazy, ain't got competition. It's me versus me, love key top game. Anyways, so everybody knows that Young Thug trial is on continuation today, which means it was a break because somebody, I believe, got hurt or something like that. It was supposed to be uh, doing some testifying. Somebody got hurt or something like that, right? So they had to give it a break and come back pretty much after the new year. So the f today was the first day that they actually came back. You already know. Well, now new T details are coming out. It looks like somebody else might have been hurt. And there's somebody else that might have been hurt. You know what I'm talking about? There's a rapper that goes by the name of Lil Wayne that actually has lyrics that says, All rats gotta die, even Master Splinter. You already know. Well, the guy that came out as one of the first and probably the biggest all-star professional snitch, truth teller, rat, whatever you want to call it, on Young Thug's YSL label, who came out to be YSL Woody, reports in them coming out and saying that YSL Woody has actually been shot. However, before any of y'all do congratulations or any of y'all start saying, dang, that's sad, let me get it confirmed because this is just reports from... Uh, you know, like I said, it's going to circulate around the blogs right now. So I'm giving y'all first, uh, you know, first hand at it, first thought said it, first hearing of it, like I'm getting first hearing of it, right? However, uh, another blog that I actually posted was, of course, Rap House TV. Shout out to Rap House TV. They are actually pretty reputable. Uh, they came out and said, according to multiple different sources, XYSL member Lil Woody, a.k.a. Kenneth Copeland, was just shot. He's the guy whose two-hour interrogation leaked of him snitching on Young Thug and YSL. So... Obviously, everybody knows who Lil Woody is. He's the guy that they pretty much came out and said, hey, man, he's been on our force with us uh, as one of our, you know, snitches for like almost 10 years for a long time. However long, even if it wasn't 10 years, it was a long time that he had pretty much been working with them. Uh, so he definitely would have been one of the guys that like if YFL Woody was to get on the stand, he going to tell it all. You know what I'm talking about? He, he going to tell it all to a T. Now. The very fact that he got shot, I don't know if he's been unalived yet or unalived at all, you know what I'm talking about, but the very fact, that, you know, the very point that he got shot, that shows that, like, you know, even if he was to have to go, you know, get on the stand, he's got recordings all with 12, you know what I'm talking about, they got the two-hour footage, so I'm wondering if they can just use that two-hour footage without him even having to show up uh, just to say, hey, yeah, I remember doing that because, you know, they kind of asked him. They asked the guy today that wrote a statement allegedly, hey, do you remember doing this? He said, no, I don't remember doing it. I don't remember putting a signature. He, he denied everything, right? Now, with Woody, he wouldn't be there if he had actually got shot unless, you know, he survives it and he's able to make it to court. But, of course, it's the street rules, right? Everybody knows a whole lot of people inside of Atlanta, more people love him than hate Young Thug, right? More people love Young Thug than hate Young Thug. So, I'm sure anything, any type of trash that you know that that well, that they can consider trash that need to be taken out i'm sure that's something that they will be or let me put it in kevin gates words put buddy's foot up in the air you know what i'm talking about a uh, buddy leg in the air you know what i'm talking about so either way it goes as more details come out about it i definitely will keep y'all updated uh whether it turns out that it was actually you know a fact or just a rumor that was going around either way it goes i wanted to make sure that keto gang gets the first hand at, at hearing what's happening you know what i'm talking about hearing what's developing uh, uh, whether it gets developed fully or turns out that it was just being developed by another source that probably, you know, shouldn't have got that development. So I'll definitely keep y'all updated with it. Now, as far as when it comes to Young Thug, yeah, does this affect him at all? Uh, I mean, they can try to probably say, hey, this is potentially from him. But if they don't have any proof, they can't just come out and say it. He's just a, a guy that's on the streets, you know, talking about. And at this point, with how bad people want, you know, the whole YSL and uh, YFN Lucci case just completely gone um you know people that do stuff off the love you know what I'm talking about that maybe don't even know them somebody just don't like snitches or rats or, or truth tellers whatever you want to call it you know what I'm talking about there's plenty of people in the streets that just don't like people that snitch at all you know what I'm talking about that's one of like the, the the key things in the whole rap music and hip-hop is f all the snitches even though for these past two years we've already seen that everybody been snitching you know what I'm talking about from the rappers to the rappers crew to security guards all type of people, especially with inside of hip hop, just pretty much been snitching. So, with that being said, I'm going to keep my eyes on it. I'm going to keep y'all updated on it. Make sure y'all, you know, tell my tap in a little later. I'm going to try to get another video out today. Let me know some coming down below. Let me know what you think about this entire deal. I'm out.